the vast expanse of our understanding, the origins of the universe have long been shrouded in mystery. The Big Bang Theory stands as a cornerstone of modern cosmology, a singular event that marked the beginning of time and space as we know it. But what if this was not the beginning? What if there was something before that explosive moment of creation? Join us as we explore the unfathomable depths of our universe and journey beyond the Big Bang. It's interesting, this idea of the Big Bang created the universe. That's what Einstein's theory says. That's textbook cosmology, if you like. Um, but the current textbook picture is there was a, a phase in the universe's life before the Big Bang, if you define the Big Bang as the hot, dense phase from which the universe appeared to sort of burst forth 13.8 billion years ago. And that phase is called inflation. So what we think happened is that before that, the universe was accelerating exponentially fast. It means it was doubling and doubling and doubling in size. And the numbers are ridiculous. Um, we think that if you started with a universe that was smaller than a single atom, then it would be bigger by a long way than the whole observable universe with 350 billion galaxies in it in less than a million, 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 millionths of a second. For, for those of you that know scientific notation, it's something like 10 to the minus 35 or 10 to the minus 36 seconds. So a very rapid, exponentially fast expansion. And when that stopped, all the energy that was driving that expansion got dumped into space. It heated it up. It produced the particles of matter out of which we are made and all the things that we see out there in the sky. And that's what we see as the Big Bang. So that sounds fanciful, but that's standard cosmology at the moment. The big question then is, well, what started the inflation? What stopped the inflation? It, how long did the inflation go on for? And the answer to that is, we're not sure. We don't know. And I'll just say one last thing. Some of those theories suggest that the inflation doesn't stop all at once. It stops in patches. And every time it stops, you get a universe. And so some of these theories, they're called eternal inflation theories, suggest that there might not be just our universe, the bit that we can see, but there might be many universes, perhaps an infinite number of them, and they may be being produced all the time. So that's what to make of that, but that's where the current modern cosmology is. As we explore the vastness of the cosmos through the lens of Professor Cox's insights on inflation and the birth of our universe, we stand at the brink of an even greater mystery. The fabric of reality, as we perceive it, may be but a single thread in an intricate tapestry that extends far beyond our observable universe. Let us now transition from the discussion of explosive cosmic growth to the nature of time itself with Professor Brian Greene and the possibility that our universe is just one note in a symphony of existence that plays across an eternal stage. It's a, it's, a, it's a deep question and a, and, a, and a subtle one. And there's sort of two ways that I like to think about that question. One is it could be that uh, the Big Bang was an interesting event, but not the first event in the totality of reality. It could have been the first event that sparked the expansion of our part of space. But it could be that there's a grander realm of space within which we sit as a small part, and that grander realm may have been here for a far longer period of time. It may have experienced its own Big Bangs, maybe a collection of Big Bangs that may extend infinitely far into the past. So it could be that the answer to the question of what happened before the Big Bang is a lot of other Big Bangs or a lot of other quantum events that were taking place in a larger landscape of reality than we have direct access to. However, another answer is that the very question may not make as much sense as the words seem to suggest. We know how to parse that sentence. We know what it means to talk about the moment before the Big Bang because we know how to talk about the moment before your birth or the moment before the Civil War or the moment before any event that happened in the world. We fully understand the meaning of that kind of sentence. But it could be that when it comes to the Big Bang, the sentence actually doesn't mean anything. It could be that the Big Bang was the place where time itself started. In our journey through the cosmos, we dared to question the very nature of time, pondering if it began with the Big Bang or if it's an endless cycle within a grander cosmic expanse. As we conclude this exploration, 
we are left with more questions than answers, a testament to the ever-evolving nature of cosmology. May our curiosity continue to drive us forward, seeking understanding in the stars above.